Okay, so starting off your day with a new video and yet another update for the OnePlus Nord. And I can smell the stable update hopefully in time in February itself as companies like Samsung stepped up their game this year by pushing updates to most budget devices and flagships. Which is really a great achievement but no worries, hopefully we'll also have a taste of Android 11 stable version really soon. But for now, let's have a look at this open beta 2 update for the OnePlus Nord. And if you watched my previous videos, I did find out a couple of issues with the beta 1 version. And this one came in time in 2-3 weeks only to fix most of those issues hopefully. Now let's have a look at this open beta 2 update for the OnePlus Nord. And first of all, if you are on open beta 1, well you will not lose any data. So keep that in mind, alright. Okay, so let's move on to the process on how you can get this one on your device. And since this is an open beta update, you will definitely get an OTA notification or you can simply check in settings and then go to system updates. So you will see that an OTA is available, just click on download now button and install it. Or else use Oxygen Arbiter application and download the zip file as you always do. Now go to settings, click on system, choose system updates from the list and click on this gear icon on the top right corner. Now choose local upgrade from the list and choose the zip file we just downloaded. So once it's done, hit the reboot button and there you go. You're all set. Great job there. Now let's jump quickly into the change log, alright. In the system part, we have a couple of fixes and the first one would be the fix for delayed WhatsApp notifications. So with the last version, we had this issue and WhatsApp notifications used to get delayed after locking the screen. But now, it seems alright and as you can see, they are coming up pretty much instantly as far as I have experienced till now. So that's a huge relief. Next coming to that canvas AOD feature, so that was not working fine for many of you with the last version. But it was alright for me and even after this update, it seems really fine and I have no issues as such with it. So the feature is working fine for me though if you face any issues, try updating the canvas AOD app from the Google Play Store. And if even then it doesn't work, then do let me know in the comment section down below or ping me on telegram. After that, we have some minor UI fixes in calculator app and the icons on lock screen. So it looks a bit refined. Let's have a look at the benchmark scores after this update and let's find out if there is any improvement in the performance, at least on paper, right? Okay, so the OnePlus Nord used to score 602 in the single core and 1828 in the multi-core score on the Android 11 Open Beta 1. And now after this update, the device scores 597 in the single core and 1848 in the multi-core score. And I don't believe in numbers as such, but this means better optimization, at least on paper, which is great. Next, we have other minor fixes with the clock application and though, I did not face any issues with the alarm, but in case you are having trouble with that, hopefully you won't face it anymore. After that, we have the fix for battery icon in landscape mode and it used to disappear when you switched over from landscape to portrait mode. So that has also been taken care of with this one. Also the issues with Dirac audio tuner have been fixed and hopefully it should work fine for everyone with this update. Next in the messages part, well it is mentioned that the chat bubbles will work fine after this update and previously they were just non-functional. So I tried it with telegram and it still doesn't work for me. I tried giving all the permissions and other fixes too but nothing worked and the bubbles are still broken it seems. At least with telegram. So I'll confirm if they work with other apps in the full review. So stay tuned for that alright. Coming to the camera part now and here, the version has been bumped up from 6.0.74 to 6.0.91. So some changes are definitely there and here are some camera samples from before and after the update. So here are some camera samples from the back camera of this device. And things do seem similar sort of. So I focused majorly on the front facing camera because as you guys know it, that is the weakest point and it needed some improvement. And here are some samples from the front facing camera and one thing I observed is that the overexposing of skin tone has reduced with a couple of updates. And now I don't have to tap and reduce the exposure to get usable images. So this is a good thing and I hope it improves even more in future. After that in the network part we have a fix and now you can set your sim 2 as your default sim in case you had issues with that in the previous version. 
Overall, the performance of device seems fine for now, but let's wait for a couple of days and I'll test if there are any lags as such anywhere. But for now, it seems fine and similar is the case with the battery life. So I used to get around 6 to 7 hours of screen on time with the last version. And I'm quite hopeful that this version will stay the same, if not better in that part. Lastly, the 2.4GHz Wi-Fi connection seems way stable with Bluetooth turned on and I could manage good and consistent speed in this short time and rest time will tell. So that's it for now. These are all the changes that you get with this Open Beta 2 update for the OnePlus Nord and I'll post a full review after a round of testing. So wait for now if you can before updating and do like this video if it helps you out. Lastly subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.